Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Tuesday, February 22nd, 2011. While the markets are getting smoked today, it has been a huge day for profits in the Research Center and in the intraday stock chat. I'll go over some of those profits a little bit later in the video, but first, let's talk what's going on. You're seeing the SPY right now. This is live as it trades. Some markets are getting massacred across the board. Spiders are down $2.45. The Dow right now is down 153 points. NASDAQ down 68, and the S&P 500 down 23.5. Basically, one and a half to two percent Dow is doing a little bit better on the back of Home Depot and a couple other Dow components like Chevron and Exxon this morning you got Walmart earnings Walmart earnings were negative folks take a look at this chart here Walmart getting crushed today down two dollars and 28 cents that's a big time move for Walmart however Home Depot take a look here it is just barely down on the day earnings were good it opened up and then the market collapsed down this is now floating right around the flat line the other key components that are holding the Dow up from really having massive losses like the Nasdaq and the S&P Chevron look at this right now Chevron's coming back in but nonetheless look at the move up today a dollar seventy when the markets are getting crushed that is a big component of the Dow as well as Exxon Mobil which again is off the highs of the day but finding support on top of the 50 moving average up 67 cents so these Dow components remember the Dow is made up of 30 stocks folks just 30 stocks so when you have 30 stocks in one index, and that's the whole index, if one, two, or three, or four are doing pretty well, for instance, Exxon, Chevron, and a couple other players, then that index will not be down that much because of it. All right, so again, just keep that in mind. We'll continue to watch this market and see how it all plays out. All right, let's go back to the SPY. Now, why is the market getting crushed today? Well, the basics of it are the issues in the Middle East, in Northern Africa. You have Libya just erupting in chaos, folks. The leader there, again, saying he's not going to back down, people getting killed killed there they just announced uh, basically force majeure I believe and again that's basically saying that they will not honor any previous contracts for oil prices based on oil's new price in fact all of their oil in Libya now will be sold based on the current price and again force majeure very very big if this starts happening across the board it's only going to drive up oil prices even more and ultimately the key here is why the markets a little skittish not only because of the Middle East but oil has taken a huge jump if you take a look at the USO today look at this thing all right, let me punch in that chart, USO. USO is up $2. This is a monster move. That's the intraday. But look at the daily here, right up into resistance, by the way, and has pulled back off the daily. But look at that size move. Whenever oil jumps like this, it's very, very bearish for GDP growth as well as growth in the economy. So all of a sudden, if oil continues to rise up, let's say oil gets above 100, 110, 115, it's going to have a negative impact on growth, which is going to go against what the Federal Reserve has been trying to do. You have to understand how this impacts. I mean, it's, granted, the instability in the Middle East is bad. I mean, that's a major thing. Is it going to spread more? Uh, Bahrain, you got to watch there again because you have Sunni and Shiite going against each other between the monarchy and the general public. That also could then spread to uh, Saudi Arabia, which has the same situation there. So you're really watching watching those two countries more than anything, but Libya does account for, I believe, 2% of the global output of oil as well, which is major, 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 and again, uh, announcing force majeure and so forth. Other issues now coming into play, and the markets, again, are getting hammered on this across the board, except for a few key select stocks. Obviously, you have Chevron doing its thing right now. Exxon's still up. Uh, there are some other few stocks around up, but for the majority, we're seeing some major losses. Apple's down 10 more dollars. Amazon's down 5. By the way, Amazon was a swing trade short that I gave out last week, and again, we took the money and ran for $5 and change, guys. $5 profit approximately on AMZN on the short side here. In addition, guess what I did this morning? When Chevron, and this was a great trade, folks, monster trade. Uh, when Chevron pierced the 102 level, I said, you know what? Short term, this is way too extended. I'm going to short this as a swing trade. I gave it out in the research center and in the intraday stock chat. Look at the stock. I've already taken profits here for over a dollar profit. And again, that's the key, folks. It was a swing trade. But you know what? When you get paid that quickly on a swing trade, you know what? Just take the money and run. That's the beauty of it. And again, when the markets are volatile like this, this is when the trading happens. This is when swing trading, you get great entries. This is when day trading happens. And again, I encourage you to learn the charts. All right, there was many factors why 102 Pierce was a good short up here based on technical things that we teach. You got to understand it. You understand it, you will make money. Bottom line, just like we did on that trade, then you had the Amazon trade, then you had scalps on Apple, uh, on multiple other stocks out there that were had today. And again, even silver, I scalped silver beautifully to the long side here. Right here, 
Silver came down, kissed the 20 moving average. I called out a long play on silver. Look at the size of that bounce. It literally went from 31.90, the alert, all the way to 32.20, 30 cent scalp there. And again, we even talked about at the open today, shorting silver was also a very, very good play as well on the gap up. And that's turned out as well. So there's just in trades every which way. And by the way, for those of you that are new watching the video, I encourage you to take the free trial of the Research Center or the Intraday Stock Set or take them both. Feel free to take them both. You go to InTheMoneyStocks.com, click on the free trial banner, and utilize that to sign up for the free trial for our services. Test us out for seven days. You get a full week, folks. No matter when you sign up, you're going to get a full week, and you're going to bank money because that's what we do here. That's what we call, and that's where we had ourselves positioned beautifully going into today for some good profits on the short side. All right, soon we'll be looking at longs. Then we'll be looking at shorts. We'll be looking at longs. We don't have a bias bottom line, folks. That's the beauty of this. If you're a swing trader, all you're looking for is a one, two, three-day move in a stock. Take the money and run. Reverse your position. Look the other way. Look this way and make money. Webinar coming up, folks, two weeks from last yes or two days ago from Sunday. It's a Sunday webinar. For those of you that, that Saturdays, we usually do it, are bad. You can take it on Sunday. You get our free DVD. It will be sold on the website after this webinar. And again, it's going to be pricey, so you might as well get it for free by taking the webinar this coming Sat Sunday. Excuse me, two Sundays. It's March 6th. Go on InTheMoneyStocks.com. Click on Education, Seminars, and Webinars link, and you will see that webinar. You can sign up. And again, the, the video, the live DVD, the DVD that we're going to be putting out here in a month or so, that will be given free to anyone who takes this webinar coming up free. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy it for a couple hundred bucks probably on the website in a, in a month or so. So you might as well use that as a discount to the webinar. It's a huge discount. All right, folks, let's take a look at a few other things. Chevron continues to collapse down here. I love this as it continues to come back down. Let's go back to the SPY and see what else is going on. Markets continuing to hover at the lows of the day. So far, the Fed hasn't come out and saved this market, but we've done more volume than Friday, last Thursday, last Wednesday. There's more volume in this market, which makes it very tough for the Fed to utilize POMO the way they want to. Now, the bigger question to me is, is this action going to maintain itself? Are we going to see just one down day? Remember, three weeks ago we saw on here I'll go to the daily chart even three weeks ago right here even close to a month ago but three weeks ago you had that one down day on the Egyptian issues then the next few days the next few weeks the market just went floated higher is that what's gonna happen today is it just a one-day event or are we gonna see more selling and right now you have to go with what the Fed's been controlling right now which is a one-day event if it turns out to be more then we look for confirmation tomorrow these are all factors that you must be living and must be breathing to understand which way this market's gonna go so you can continue to make profits today great profits but you know there's more profits tomorrow in the intraday stock chat in the research center as will be the next few days alrighty folks again join the free trial come join us here let's make some money this afternoon let's make some money the rest of the week and the next month and two months out take care folks again join in the money stocks.com.